Hey, hey, what's Hello, going on, guys? Hello. Good afternoon, Dexter and Tanya Scott here. We are here. Also known you. as the Upgraders. We want to say hi to you all. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, our audience is building, and if you are watching us via the replay, yes. thank you so much. I mean, you know, hey, you might be getting off work later. There are a million things that you can do, but you chose to click on this live feed so that you can watch our video. So we really appreciate it. So listen, um, if you're new uh, to watching, uh, you can't see? I got, well, you know. Oh, okay. If you're new to watching our Facebook lives, put a one below. Tanya and I, we always love to connect uh, with people on social media. I mean, we absolutely love it, you know? So drop a one below if you're new uh, to watching our Facebook lives. You know, Tanya and I, we've been doing lives, and, and when we... Uh, we're introduced to new people all the time. And it's interesting because people will come and find our videos and drop a one like a week later. And it's just so exciting for us, you know? So mm -hmm. drop a one below if you're new to watching our Facebook lives. Those of you guys that have been watching us, thank you so much. We always say you can watch a lot of people, right? But you choose to tune into our stuff. So we really appreciate it. So Tanya and I started a short stories uh, series called Stories That Matter. Eight episodes lasting up to 15 minutes of just powerful short stories because everybody can remember how exciting it is to sit around and listen to a story. You know, even as adults right now, you guys, if, if we were to say, hey, want to hear a short story? Come to XYZ place. Let's sit around like we did as children. Mm -hmm. And, and listen to the story. I bet everybody watching the live would do that. If you would do it, just, just drop a say, I do it, I do it. If you love stories, just say, I love stories in, yeah. the, in the comment section. I just had an idea. Yeah, because we something. love short stories. Stories change the world, don't they, Tanya? Yep. Yeah. All right. So look, we're going to get started. This is day four of eight episodes. So we're going to go today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to end Friday. And this has just been so exciting for us. So are you ready for me to start reading the story? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. And guys, please share this live. Share it with people. Share it on your Facebook page. Invite them to take a look because these stories have been so impactful. As Tanya and I have been looking at reading these stories, it causes us to just kind of think. We're like, wow, that's awesome. So we're going to share another story with you. And I'm going to pretend like you guys that are watching, I'm going to pretend like uh, I'm a teacher <laughs> in the library and, and you are my, uh, uh, my class. Okay. Right? Is that cool? Okay. I'm going to pretend like you're my class. You're it. our class for Sitting today. Sitting Indian style on the floor. Yeah, Indian style on the floor. You know, and <laughs> listening. Listening. Uh, uh, in, intentively, if, if, that's, if that's how you say it. Okay, all right, here we go. All right. Once upon a time, a daughter complained to her father that her life was miserable and that she didn't know how she was going to make it. She was tired of fighting and struggling all the time. It seemed uh, just as one problem was solved, another one soon followed. We know that story. Her father, a chef, he took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each on a high fire, okay? Once the three pots began to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot, eggs in the second pot, and ground coffee beans in the third pot. He then let them sit and boil without saying a word to his daughter. The daughter moaned and impatiently waited, wondering, what is he doing, right? She was wondering, what's he doing? After 20 minutes, he turned off the burners. He took the potatoes out of the pot and placed them in a bowl. He took the eggs out and placed them in a bowl. He then ladled the coffee out and placed it in a cup. Turning to her, he asked, what do you see? Potatoes, eggs, and coffee, she hastily replied. Look closer, he said, and touched the potatoes. She did and noted they were soft. He then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, he observed that the he, she observed the hard-boiled egg. 
Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean, she asked. He explained that the potatoes, the eggs, and coffee beans had each faced the same adversity, the boiling water. However, each one reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard, and unrelenting. But in boiling water, it became soft and weak. The egg was fragile with the thin outer shell protecting its liquid interior until it was put into the boiling water. Then the inside of the egg became hard. However, the ground coffee beans were unique. After they were exposed to boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Which one are you, he asked his daughter. Which one are you? When adversity knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a potato? Are you an egg? Or are you a coffee bean? <laughs> man, wasn't that good? <laughs> that <is so> cool. <laughs> okay, that story was really good, man. <laughs> that story was good. Uh, the egg, the potato, and the coffee bean. So which one are you? What do you think, Tanya? I can go in a few directions with this, but to let's let's just take what he's saying now. We have this story; it was written, and we have the question that was asked of all of us in the end: Which one are, are you? you? And there's with this father, with this daughter, the thing that he brings out is, you know, they both had the same adversity but their response to it was very different, the hot boiling water. And here we are with the potato. He, he, in the writing, it says it's weaker. Uh, with the hard boiled egg, the, well, the egg is now hard boiled. We, we hear about the hardness that mm -hmm. comes, it firmed up. And then we hear about the coffee bean that actually changed the water. Mm -hmm. The water's color changed. OK, so its response to it was like, let's see what I can do with you and look at what what came out of it, the aroma and all of that, that she smiled. And I love that. Awesome. I love hearing all of that. That really helps us to understand that we we may ha all have the same adversity, but our response to it is what really, really matters. And it's so true. I'm reminded of uh, listening recently to Napoleon Hill. And Napoleon Hill talks to us about his son being born without ears, no ears. Powerful story. Yeah. And so here he is early on, but he and his wife are like, okay, you know, they're believing God and they, they're mindful of what it is that they're speaking and what their expectation is. Well, the doctor comes over and I visualize it maybe because of how he stated it and just kind of places his hand on Napoleon Hill to say, you know, Napoleon, there are just some things in life we can't control. There's some things in life we can't do anything about. And this is one of those things. And his response to him is, oh, there's always something I can do about anything that happens in my life. This still being one of them. And, the, and he goes on to let us know that actually. Over the years, uh, his, his son not having ears, but I think he was able to hear like a 65% rate uh, sometime later on in his life. Now his son is hearing at a 100% rate, no ears, okay? There was something that was also created that's helped that they were able to insert where he can hear at 100%, just like me and you, okay? That really that thing really stood out mm -hmm. to me. Even though they were told that he, he has no ears, he'll never hear, they didn't receive that they believe otherwise and now otherwise and as a result they advance toward that thing and they actually receive it that's powerful to me okay so when I listen to this story I think about that no matter what your face you still have the control as to how you would respond in a thing now I've yeah. got something else I want to say about this I want you to go first because no, mine no, it's is just, a little bit different you know it's just really good because um or second you know first. his daughter was younger right so he, it was a father giving his daughter wisdom. And I'm telling you, I, guys, I, I think of me. I have handled some situations horribly. I, I mean, I was just so hard and I just couldn't receive anything. And it was just amazing how 
at the end of the day is is like you know, what happens around us and what happens to us is of little consequence as compared to what happens in us. So we have to create a new aroma. So when, when situations happen in our life, we all go through a lot of stuff. Everybody that's watching the Facebook Live right now, and those of you guys that are watching on replay, we all go through some stuff. I mean, my goodness, if we were to share things that we go through, you would be like, oh my gosh. If you were to share things that you're going through with us, we would be like, wow. So we are all a community of people that have to go through a process. So at the end of the day is how are we going to handle it? And I saw uh, one comment, you know, Elwood Whitaker, uh, one of our friends and business partners, he says, you know, when life gives you lemons, turn it into lemonade. And then I've heard it, when life gives you lemons, build a lemonade stand. Right. So it's it, we, it's how we go through it. And I'm telling you, it, again, what happens around us, what happens to us is of little consequence as compared to what happens in us. So as as we experience different things in 2018, let's look at it as what kind of aroma aroma that can be created from our experiences. Go ahead. Tanya. All right. So now we got four minutes. Got four minutes. Okay, four minutes. Lord, let me try to really bring this in, okay? Because I'm listening to the story and I'm listening to how the writer of the story, how they're directing us, which is what I spoke about a few minutes ago. Now, if you're just joining us, you didn't hear the story, please go back. We're about to end really soon. You know, we value your time. So we want you to go back and listen so you can actually hear this story, okay? But I want to bring this to you because this is how my mind goes, all right? And I think about things like this. The question was asked of us at the end of the story, now, which one are you? Are you a potato? Are you the egg? Are you, or are you the coffee beans? Well, my thing was, how about being all three? That's good. How about being That's all good. three? In life, we all deal with things. And some of us have dealt with some of the same things. Your response to it could be different from mine based on what I've already been through in my life, based on, you know, how I'm raised, the things that I'm exposed to, so, so forth and so on. But being all three, sometimes we want to find something wrong with the thing and there's nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah. It's something good. So even as I spoke earlier, I'm sitting here like that hard boy egg. Notice I use the word firm, firmed up. That might be a need for you. That's a need for me. Mm -hmm. I've been someone that people would walk all over. Um, there's a song by Katy Perry, Roar. I tell you, I say that's a part of my anthem too. I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath, scared to rock the boat and make a mess. So I sat quietly, ahead, agree politely. I guess in life, I forgot I had a choice. <laughs> I let you push me past the breaking point. I stood for nothing. So I fell for everything. Come on now. You held me down, but I got up. See, I'm rising up now. There are a lot of things that I've not done. I wouldn't step out on. I wouldn't try because of what other people said, what other people thought. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not living that life anymore. I can tell oftentimes when it even tries to sneak back up, up upon me, but I'm like, I'm mindful of it now. There's a firmness. So I've been through some boiling water mm -hmm. and now I'm firming up. But then there are other times where you know, you might be all hard about something because of the hurts, because of the pains. So I'm blocking some things. Mm -hmm. I'm protecting myself. I'm going to build a wall all around me. And now I'm going through something. And that thing might have me to say, oh, it's humbling me. It's helping me to see things differently. You know, you think about a potato. Yeah, you get it. It's hard. But when you boil that thing, you can mash it up. And that tastes real good with some salt and some butter, right? I Don't mean, so the that, pepper and, and the, the pepper, pepper. So and pepper. some sour cream. Oh. <laughs> But I'm See. telling you, so there's sometimes there's some things that you go through and it's okay. You might find yourself all, all of those things, the coffee being even, you know, when you can change that water now, you know, it gives off that aroma and the flavor and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I say all of that basically to make this point in life, we go through things and I don't know, you know, who you are, what you've been through, what are the things that, you know, you've had to endure, but regardless in all things, you can always identify and find mm -hmm. you can find the good thing in it you can find the good thing from it you can you i've grown i'm stronger i'm better i'm a better listener i'm, I'm, yeah, I'm more humble good. are you hearing what i'm saying those types of things so i don't know what you're going through but whatever it is mm -hmm. hey Find and identify the good in it because yes. in all things, there's always good. I don't know. I don't care what it is. It's, it's hard. Sometimes it's tough yeah, when yeah. you think about your life, but it's true.
You can always find the goodness in it. Right? Yes. And I, I love the, and, and we're actually, it's 115 now. Oh my God. It, it, it just moves so fast. I'm sorry. But it's uh, <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> aroma, right? A, a lot of people are saying, I'm all three. I, and I, we are all all three. I'm all three. I, now I think about that coffee bean. When, when you drop the coffee bean in that water, because we do coffee every morning. We're going to have a cup in just a few minutes, right? But we're going to get a cup of Delgado in just a minute. Well, when you, we have instant, but that coffee bean, when you drop it in and, and the hot water, it brings off the aroma. That's why I love coffee shops. Mm. Oh, You can walk down the road. Yeah. When Tanya and I have gone to Italy and mm. we're walking down the cobblestone streets and, and we smell the aroma of the, mm. the espresso. I mean, it's, mm. it's awesome. Give off an aroma in your process, okay? Ooh. That's good. Like oh, we can talk. We can go about 45. <laughs> Look, when you're, when you're speakers, you can hit, hear one thing and just go off, right? Oh, it's like, oh, that was oh good. my gosh. Okay. Good. But we're going to end this. <laughs> Guys, we're sorry. We, we, we went a little long. But we want to give you a free gift. Uh, everybody that's been watching our lives, thank you so much. We want to give you a free copy of our 11 Steps to Success. You can get to that with the upgradersgiveaway.com. I don't know if you can see that. The upgraders giveaway dot com. OK, and then uh, you can connect here with us on our our show. The upgrader show is hyper URL dot co forward slash the upgraders. OK, so the giveaway is here right here. The upgraders giveaway dot com. You can connect with us on our direct sales television network show. The upgraders at hyperurl.co forward slash the upgraders. And finally, YouTube, our YouTube channel, it's the upgraders. I know my writing looks a little crazy, but you can go to YouTube and, and type in the upgraders. Now, this is a new, a new channel. We just created a new channel that we're putting all of our information on, all of our videos. So you can connect with us on YouTube. You'll probably see one subscriber because it's a new channel. We're putting all of these videos up there. Also, our Upgrader Show content, we're putting it over there as well. Guys, thank you so much. Tomorrow's story. Oh, we've got so many. Tomorrow's story. If they've been good to you, if you've enjoyed our, our, our stories, put the best one that you can think of below. Yeah. I so we've got that too. Wednesday's I'm show. Glad you asked that. Wednesday's show, we, we talked about the neighbor with the clothesline. Thursday show, we talked about the pebbles. Mm -hmm. Friday show, we talked about the little lame puppy. Today's show, we talked about the egg, the potato, and the coffee bean. Which one has been your best? Let us know below. Thank you all so much for your time, attention. G guys, we appreciate you. Have a wonderful Monday. Have a phenomenal week. Make sure you stop in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on our Facebook page so that we can give you another story that we hopefully will add value. Anything you want to share before we close? All right. So Tanya and I, we are the upgraders. We may not know you. But we know what's in you. See you tomorrow, 1 p.m. Thanks. Bye-bye.